What's up all my supernatural people? My name is Larissa and welcome to the video of the day. Today I wanted to talk about the five ways that you can really save a lot of money when you go raw vegan and this is just based off of my personal experience and you know what I do and just what I've noticed about the amount of money that I spend on certain things since transitioning my lifestyle over to a raw vegan lifestyle. So one of the biggest things is that I don't eat out often anymore because of the lack of options, which for some people, including myself in the beginning, was a little bit of a bummer because eating out is such a huge part of our culture that takes a lot to get used to not having that be a part of your lifestyle anymore. But it's really not that big of a deal once you get used to it. Like, I really enjoy having pretty much all of my meals completely made from scratch by myself and always you know super healthy and fresh and like i said it helps me save a lot of money because i used to eat out almost like one meal every single day but yeah i've just come to realize that eating out is extremely unnecessary and sometimes just a waste of money so it is definitely a plus another thing that kind of goes along with this but is my second point is that i don't spend money on alcohol and drugs because I used to, especially when I would go out for dinner, I used to spend a lot of money on alcohol when I would go out to eat and you know, it adds up quick. I would oftentimes have two cocktails every time I would, you know, choose to go out and drink that night. And when you think about how often you end up doing that and how each, the cost of each drink really adds up over time, you really do save a lot of money, you know, Obviously, being on a raw vegan lifestyle focused on health, most people aren't gonna tend to drink alcohol, which is, you know, something I chose to do and become sober. And yeah, it's just, it's been a great lifestyle change for me overall because I'm respecting my body much more. I'm not doing something that could harm it because we all know that alcohol is not necessarily healthy for us. And so I'm happy to avoid that now and save a lot of money in the long run. And yeah, same goes for when I used to smoke a lot of weed, like I save so much money because I don't smoke weed anymore. So that's another great thing about, you know, being on this lifestyle. And it's not to say that if you're a raw vegan, you can't smoke weed, you can do whatever you want and eat a raw vegan diet. But like I said, I choose to now take those types of things out of my life and just focus on, you know, just doing what's best for my physical body and saving money also, which is awesome. When it comes to the food that I do consume now, what's great and is a great way to save a lot of money is that you can buy a lot of fruit in bulk at certain stores. So I always get my bananas in the whole case. I never buy them by the bunch anymore because at my local grocery store, if I buy a case of bananas, I get a 10% off discount. So that's awesome. There's not that many things that you know, aren't raw vegan that you can do that with unless you like are going through a wholesaler. But when it comes to like eating meat and processed foods, you don't really get deals like that. So yeah, that's just a huge plus. And just try and find a, you know, a grocery store near you that offers something like that and it'll help you save a lot of money. And it's also just a great way to stay stocked up in your home as well. Another way that many people can experience the benefits of saving money like I have is when your body becomes a lot healthier and you're someone who has struggled with their health in the past and have possibly been on some sort of medication, eventually, hopefully, you get to the point where you can get off that medication because, you know, I personally believe that pharmaceutical drugs are extremely harmful for our health. I don't think they actually help in any way. Yes, they may alleviate symptoms and suppress them so that we're not dealing with something as severe on a daily basis, but it doesn't actually fix the problem like cleaning up your diet really will. So for me personally, I've been able to get off medication that I was on in the past. And I also chose to get off the, you know, birth control contraceptive pill for my own health as well, because that really increases your risk for breast cancer. I learned shortly after diving into my healthy lifestyle journey. So yeah, I save a lot of money because I'm not spending it on medication anymore. And so I hope everyone else can get to that point where they can also save money on stuff like that, as well as not getting sick as often. So, you know, less trips to the doctor and, you know, just having 
an abundance of health in general. It's gonna bring so much ease to your life and it will really help you save money in the long run because most people when they age and get older deal with all these health issues later on in life and that's something that we can completely prevent with a healthy diet. And I know that I'm not immortal or immune to anything. I just know that I am doing whatever I can to hopefully avoid any sort of health issues in the future and reverse the health issues that I've struggled with in the past. My last point about ways that you can end up saving money by being raw vegan is sort of optional and you know it's not necessarily for everyone but like I said this is just my personal experience. Um, but I have ended up saving so much money in things that I now see as completely pointless to my life because I have stopped wearing makeup and I have stopped using countless amounts of just these unnecessary beauty, I should say beauty products that are pushed on us to, you know, I guess sort of hide the fact that most people are unhealthy and aren't glowing from the inside out with radiant health and beauty because we're not taking care of ourselves. And so now that I am taking care of myself and radiating beauty from the inside out, I feel like things like makeup and just all these different things that we're told we need to put on our face and our bodies, I see them as completely pointless now because I just embrace my own natural beauty and I feel confident in the way I look now because I look and feel better than ever because of what I put into my body. You can really only achieve you know, that true glowing health that people can see radiating from the inside out if you really just take care of your body. And, you know, most people we just, we don't know how to take care of our bodies or we're just, we don't feel like doing that because we think it takes too much effort. And so we just layer on the makeup and try and, you know, I guess bring out that illusion of this beauty that I guess is pushed on us by the mainstream. That's the other thing. like. We are not meant to look a certain way. We're all meant to look unique and different and beautiful in our own ways. We don't have to conform to what society pushes on us. And that's just something I've learned along this journey with, you know, loving myself on a much deeper level because this is a holistic experience for me. It's not just about having just a healthy body. Like it's about having a healthy mindset as well. So for me personally, like I save hundreds of dollars on no longer buying things like makeup and beauty products and I am choosing to no longer dye my hair either as well and like you know this is a process of, of growing from the damage I've already done to it but I know that eventually because I'm taking care of my health so much more than ever before like my hair will be so healthy and amazing and I, I'm never gonna feel the need to alter it in any other way again and I'm just I'm looking forward to reaping the benefits of that aspect of changing my health because I've already seen the benefits of you know clearing my skin and no longer dealing with health issues and being in great shape without over exercising like I can stay lean and healthy and eat as much as I want because I'm eating the right foods I don't have to restrict I don't have to be afraid of calories and sugar especially like for, from fruit I'm specifically talking about which most people are so afraid of but I just wanted to say this has really been a mindset shift for me, realizing all these unnecessary products that I do not need in my life and I save a lot of money not investing in these beauty products anymore, not letting them just take my money and you know pressure me to look a certain way and conform to society because we're all beautiful and we just need to take care of our bodies and that beauty will shine from the inside out. So I hope this was a positive message for you all. I hope that if you're considering a raw vegan lifestyle or if you're already raw vegan, I hope this was helpful. Like this video and also check out in the description below a link for my free ebook, Three Secrets to Supernatural Health. I really hope that it helps you out on your health journey. Um, I'm also on Instagram and have a lovely day and I'll see you in the next video. All right, bye.